Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here in Halls of Torment now today. I'm going to show you how you can convert extra money into Torment Shards using the Vault. So we're going to do an Archer run today for some fun. Now, I've got him set up in here with a little bit of damage, crit chance, and crit bonus. I'm going to take advantage of his crit stuff and do a crit, uh, crit build in here with defense. We're going to go defense with a bit of block strength and defense on the boots. Defense move speed, going to go in with a collar. Gonna go crit bonus, crit chance, it's a crit build, so we're gonna go attack speed. Gonna take the mark of the sanctity for the regen because we're gonna do a higher level one here. We're gonna use 200,000 and see, yeah, see how difficult we can make it in here, okay? So let's head down here to the vault. So how it works is every four that you put in here, you'll get plus one torment shard from the Lord. Most of these will be negatives, but every now and then you'll get a positive like XP gain. For example, just getting that all reduced vision, that's annoying. Reduced health recovery, that's pretty annoying too. Okay, we're getting a lot of <laughs> monster health and boss health. Uh, additional chest is alright for us. Reduced max health per level. Ooh. Okay, we've got more XP. Okay, we spent 100,000 already. Let's see how uh, how far we can push it. Replaces a scroll with a tome. We don't mind that one. Retaliating ghost. Magma eruptions. Oh, no. It's going to be really hard now. <laughs> All right. Replaces a scroll with tome. Plus one lord. <laughs> All right. And we can't afford it anymore anyway. So that's... Uh... That's where we're going to leave it. So that's just about 200,000. So we got uh, how many shards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've done ten here. It's going to be pretty tough. Let's see if we can pull this off. Oh, whoops. We uh, added traps there too accidentally. So <laughs> this is going to be really, really tough. We're going to go for our uh, ring blades early here, I think, and try and get them to level three. If we can. Okay, retaliating ghost is going to be pretty, pretty annoying here. Let's go and grab another ability, though. What do we do? We take some move speed. I think maybe move speed early here is going to be pretty nice for avoiding these, these guys. We might level a little bit, too, before we... Just trying to avoid them there before we, um... Let's go out. Rich. Before we destroy everything and summon him. Oh, yeah, we're going to level a little bit and try and take another ability here. Maybe we'll go Transfiction. Take some projectile stuff early on to help out here. Okay. Range is okay. Range is okay for in here. Um, especially if we take it on the boss. He's going to be annoying. We could go for another ability here now. We'll go for three early on. I am going to take some metabolism as we go here too. Okay. I should have tried to <laughs> avoid that ghost. I thought I could outrun him, but... Got a little greedy. So the ghost can be really, really annoying in here. I think I'm going to go for another ability... Um, okay, we do have dedication, so we've got the move speed. Move speed and regen, both of them together would be really nice for our situation. I think I'll do that. Our main weapon, I think we want the crit stuff more. Let's go some attack speed here. Okay, the other game hasn't been too, too bad here. These ghosts are really annoying though. <laughs> Much easier to avoid with high move speed, but still annoying. And the reduced vision in here can be kind of difficult too. Okay, we did get our regen as well. Let's uh, take it. Uh, so what other ability do we really want here? I guess splinters might, might be okay. I really like the splinters. Oh boy, that's some enemies right there. Uh, let's take that move speed while we're here. 
Alright. Maybe leave this last scroll for... Whoops. <laughs> Got annihilated there. Let's go with our ring blades. We want the crit though. We probably do. Transfiction is alright. Multi-strike. Metabolism is also not too bad here. Let's get it boosted. Now we could wake him up as quickly as we can here and go that route. Or we could level a bit more. Try and get something up to level 3, like our blades. We're only level 8 here right now. But since we're right next to this one, we may as well take it out and just start the whole process. We can level our transfiction. We like getting it leveled up here. Although, I think we still will kind of prefer... Hey, it's not coming up for me. That's right. We'll take crit. Take the extra crit stuff. Um, okay. Unless I'm disoriented, the main room should be in here. What do we have here? Scars of Toil. I don't want to go negative on the, um, the regen here. Nothing really. We'll take the XP. Okay, we're still not getting our, uh, <laughs> our blades to show up here, but that's all right. They'll come up eventually for us. Okay, we've got more swift feet. I like being fast in here. One of the reasons I like using the archer when I'm doing the vault runs. Oh, whoops. Okay, I guess maybe... Oh, no, here we go. We got the crit. We got it to show up, so that's nice. Let's go our splinters here as well. Pretty good once we get them leveled. <laughs> These ghosts, man. <laughs> Super annoying. Okay, let's go crit. I think we were in here before. Let's go the other way. Um, should we take regen as well here? Let's do it. Don't mind taking our transfiction levels too. I think I've just done a big, a big circle here, but that's all right. Maybe we start waking him up now. Anyway, I think we can just level off the enemies as we go. Okay, here's our region. Let's go in here. Ah, oh, there's a trap. <laughs> That's an annoying place for a trap to be. Oh, okay, we took a hit there. Let's go our move speed here. Let's make ourselves nice and fast. Okay, still not getting the uh, crit stuff on the weapon, which is kind of unlucky. I don't mind taking a bit of health as we go. Okay, we got our crit stuff on the splinters. Let's take that. All right, we got that one. Okay, <laughs> we've taken a bit of damage here. Oh, we missed a uh, missed the time, but that's all right. The scroll, maybe we hold off on it until we get something to level three here, anyway. Okay, we've got our piercing winds. Let's uh, go dupe this. The big crits. Ah, uh, this reduced vision does uh, <laughs> kind of make things a little confusing in here. I think this is the way we went before. Then we'll crit stuff. Ah, uh, no, this is the center room, isn't it? Oh, now I've kind of... I kind of lost myself a bit. Uh, Fragile's not bad. I got myself uh, confused as to where we are. Well, whoops. Yeah, these ghosts. <laughs> ah, man, that can be rough. Got our transfiction. 
I've gotten us lost in here. <laughs> Let's go for our metabolism. Maybe we lock this in while we do that. Okay, here's the main uh, the main room. Oh, ghosts! Probably one of the most annoying <laughs> modifiers in the game. I guess we go and uh, wake him up now, and let's take the regen first. Could take health and regen together. I mean, boosting up our health too doesn't hurt. Since we're not using the blood catcher for this one. Now, I don't want to use the blood catcher for every single <laughs> video we do. We did most of the runs in the previous video without, but ooh, the last run we used the regen one. Oof, we took damage trying to uh, <laughs> take that thing out. Go hard into the crit. Okay, now we're kind of uh, get, getting surrounded over there. It's still loop, I guess. Go back for it. Uh, range. I think we want to take the other stuff in there. Let's go this one for now. We like being fast. Let's try again. Okay, base crit bonus. It's probably really nice. Do we want to uh, take anything else from in here? Damage and cone size. We could start duping some of this. Blade size and damage. That sounds good to me. Let's do it. Alright, we got it. And let's get out. Let's get out. <laughs> okay. More crit chance. Let's do these big extra crits if we can. Do we take it or do we just... Let's go attack speed here. Um, is he awake or did we miss one? No, we missed one, didn't we? One down here. What are we, level 32? Not too bad. We'll wake him up and slowly start uh, our damage cycle. Just a big circle in the main room. That's the plan. We'll go with the crit stuff. Try and avoid these stupid ghosts. <laughs> Man, they're annoying. These side rooms are pretty rough. We still haven't got the crit one to show up for us. Attack speed. Cone size. Should we just dupe this one more? Whoops. Let's make it powerful, extra powerful here. Okay, we finally got the crit one on our main. Let's take it. <laughs> now we could just boost up our main uh, instead of the ring blades. You know, it is what it is. Let's take the uh, piercing winds. I can't get through to this last one. <laughs> There's so many enemies. Okay, we got it. All right, we took heaps of damage going for it, though. Let's go by the uh, tome over here and get our extra cyclone thing. So many choices. Alright, let's get out of here. We're almost dead. That's pretty, pretty dangerous going in there, but, you know, that's all right. Got the reses. We'll see how we go here. I feel like maybe we just keep going on damage and crit and stuff here now. Oh, there's the mimic. Hey, buddy. Everything's got a lot of <laughs> extra health here as well. Ripping. Let's get that one to level 6 first if we can. 
It looks like we woke him up. Just gonna go in a big old circle here while we keep leveling. Uh, there's a bit of extra P lying around. Extra XP. Okay. Let's keep going on it. Where is he down here? Hey, buddy. Let's try to survive as we go. I think uh, getting more fragile out there is probably worth it. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe the radiant uh, aura just for the close range stuff too. Might, might not be too bad here. Could also take some defense stuff or do we just keep going hard into the DPS here? Let's keep doing it. Regen. I don't even know if we need the extra move speed now specifically, do we? Maybe we'll just take it. We're 44. Once we hit level 60, then we should be fine here anyway for survivability. So I'll just keep leveling a bit before we get too aggressive here, I think. Just to uh, make sure we <laughs> can actually get this done. Okay, we still want the other main weapon stuff. Let's see if we can get it. Here's the crit. We could also... We've used most of our potions though, so let's just take... Take the crit stuff here. I tell you what, someone uh, dropping me a nice uh, grab hand to collect all the XP now would be really, really nice. Uh, maybe the splinters first. Maybe we go take a splinter upgrade too. We have a couple of scrolls lying around here. Okay, extra metabolism also. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Let's just take it and see what we get. Maybe splinters? I like the splinter shiver one there. Let's take it. Okay, where is he anyway? This reduced vision makes it kind of tough. <laughs> Area? Uh, area's not too bad. Maybe we keep going on transfiction here though. Ah, almost got this mimic down too. He's kind of getting a bit low. Okay, we got a uh, another chest there. Nothing uh, very good. Give me the XP. More crit chance, please. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't kill me. Okay, we take the crit chance. End up getting the other one leveled before the, um, the blades here, but... That's RNG for you, you know. Let me just take it. Sec transfiction. <clears throat> Upgrade. Why not? Yeah, we're just getting nothing. Nothing higher level that we can use in here. We could just take transfiction up to 62. Why not? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let's not get surrounded. Okay, we've got our crit stuff here. Oh, we've got level 6 here too, though. Kind of like some of the other stuff better. Tech speed is alright, though. Alright, maybe we'll do a detour and go grab this so we can get another upgrade, another evolution for it. Morning Star's also not bad, but I like taking the crippling blades here. 
Oh boy. All right. Uh, what are we, level 53 now? We'll just uh, keep slowly DPSing him here now. Until we get to the end. Where did he go over here? Hey, buddy. Let's go damage. So it certainly was interesting in the previous video, testing out some block stuff. Now, naturally, as soon as I posted that, the first comment was, hey, why aren't you doing this on the shield maiden? Which is hilarious, but you know, I guess it's a fair question. Um, because, first and foremost, other characters exist in the game, so <laughs> I like to build them out as well. Um, secondly, a lot of the commenters were telling me that I was underestimating block strength, which is one of the reasons I wanted to test it. And they said I was kind of overestimating or overvaluing, you know, regen, but... So far in my experience, I think uh, health regen is super, super powerful. Um... And, you know, I haven't done, you know, thousands of hours of testing or anything, but so far, it has <laughs> appeared to be a superior. Uh, can we do something better? Here we go. Oh, you just have to have so much block to really scale it. You have to scale it up, like, so high. Um, which... If you have a character that has the scaling proficiency stance, what do we want from here? You say, yeah, I'm facing win three. Let's take that as well. <clears throat> yeah, so obviously, if you have a character that has the block strength scaling, such as the Maiden, obviously, then, you know, <laughs> then you, you get more value out of it by what is it? 0.5% per level, so as you level up, you get a good chunk extra. And maybe it scales up high enough, but man, <laughs> it just uh, it just doesn't it doesn't stop you from taking damage when you get hit. You know what I mean? And and then because you have no defense, here's our uh, cleric's dedication. Do we want to keep the other stuff from him now? Okay, let's just. Uh... Let's go aggressive on him now. Oh, well. Maybe we should still try and avoid the ghosts, though, because they do a lot of damage. Alright, well, yeah, maybe we should try and play it safe here anyway, then. And since we have all these modifiers on them, we don't want to <laughs> mess it up here. At the end. Yeah, so obviously, you know, I think de uh, defense is quite powerful up until a certain point. Once you hit, like, 85% or so uh, damage reduction, that feels pretty good. Uh, obviously, more is nice, too, but... And having some block is certainly valuable. It's not like it's complete dead stat or anything. So, you know... But I just think being able to regen off the hits is uh, just more valuable when you're going up Torment 20 plus. I mean, how <laughs> how else are you supposed to survive? Because you just don't have enough <coughs> block strength early game. You have to take time to scale it up, and that's the thing. Let's go. Size and damage here. Alright, that's given us a chance to actually get our <laughs> health back here now. Alright, where is he? Where is this dude? Okay, area. Do, do, do. Yeah, more crit. Let's go. Where is old mate? He's just disappeared on me. I know. Here he is. Ah, oh, here we go. Hey, buddy. Alright, DPS him hard here. Dang, we took a bunch of damage. Hey, <laughs> man, those ghosts. <laughs> Alright, let's get something else here. Morning Star, it is. Now, I don't know if the Morning Star is necessarily the strongest or anything, but I think it's quite fun to use. 
Now, of course, we could have gone for more defensive stats here, but as you can see, we're doing all right anyway. Just going to actually try and avoid the <laughs> damage this time, if we can. Oh, there's so much of it coming at me. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I think we got him. Yes, we did. Let's see how many shards we get for this. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Alright, well. There we go. <coughs> Alright. Well, we're in there 14 minutes. Not too bad. Everything kind of helping out. Morning Star, we only took it at the end. We went pretty hard into our blades there, so I think I was doing good damage. Excellent. Got up to level 68. Cleric's dedication at the end really helping out. So that's how you can convert your spare cash into torment shards. So. Blessings, traveler. Um, did we really get 57 out of that? I don't think we got 57. We got 22. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that makes more sense. Alright, so 200,000 nets you about 22 torment shards in 15 or so minutes. Maybe 20 minutes. There you go, that was a pretty fun run, guys. So thanks for tuning in to another video. A smash like and subscribe. I hope you have a fantastic, amazing day. Take it easy.